All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, now that we have our dynamic DNS set up, we're going to run that setup script on the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to copy this command here, and this is just going to download this script, and then we're going to run that script. So uh, you might want to just take a look at this script to make sure you understand what it's doing or you're comfortable with it, or just make sure you trust it. Um, I'm going to trust it and just um, download it and then run it with this command. All right, um, so it's asking, I need to know the IPv4 address, of the network interface. Well, yep, so we want to use our dynamic IP address here. So instead of our, instead of our external IP address, we want to use this uh, instead. So just copy this here. Um, just say no, it looks like it already has no as the default. Uh, let's just use the default uh, port, which is one, and you can see it's already populated with one. Um, you know, it says, unless it's not available, you shouldn't use TCP, so let's just use one. That's fine. Uh, DNS resolvers. I'm going to use Google, or actually 11. No, I don't know why it has that. Let's just use Google. This is just like what do you want to use to resolve the DNS? It's not really important. Um, so let's just, that's fine. Do you want to use compression? I've never seen that before, but all right, let's just use, say no. Uh, customize encryption settings, no. Okay, that was all I needed. Okay, so hit enter. And now it's uh, actually running. And it shouldn't take too long. And then once this finishes, we're going to um, create a client key for it. All right, so it's actually asking us to do it right here. So tell me a name for the client. So let's just say uh, franchise923 underscore iPhone. Hit enter. Do you want to protect the configuration file with a password? Add a passwordless client. Yeah, I don't want to add a password. Add a passwordless client. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Okay, cool. So it says the client franchise 923 was added. The configuration file is written to here. So we need to somehow get this file off of the server into our iPhone. Um, so there's various different ways to do this, but let's just browse to this and make sure we can see it. Let's actually go right here all right so there it is so I'm pretty sure we can use SCP to copy this I don't use this every day so I have to remember how to use uh, SCP copy from remote how to copy a folder from remote to local that's what we want to do so something like this Let's just, uh, uh, I don't know what dash R does, but let's just leave it. Uh, what's the path look like? So we copy this path here. And get rid of that extra backslash. And we also need the file name, which is this. All right, so that's what we're copying. Where do we want to copy it to? 
Uh, let's copy it to the desktop. That's my user. So let's try this. Might work, might not work, but looks like it should work. Actually, we probably need a new terminal. Let's try that. Oh, I think I'm using the wrong IP address. I think it's 169. Yeah, it is 169. All right, so password is raspberry. Operation not supported. Ah, you know why? It's because I'm missing a slash here. Okay, it probably is because I need to give it the name of the file that I want to call it. <laughs> so you can see here, I do not do this every day. It's probably an easier way to do it. Let's try that. No such file or directory. Is that not a legit file location? All right, so yeah, it looks like I am not using a legit location. So it's not home, F-P-O-L-I-G, it's slash users. All right, that looks right. There we go. <laughs> All right. So it should be on our desktop now. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Okay. So here's the open VPN file. Uh, so now the task is we need to get this to our iPhone. So there's different ways we can do this. Uh, if you're, I wouldn't recommend this, but you can just email it to yourself. But again, that's not secure. That's not what you should do. But uh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't do it, do that before. But yeah, I think you know, I, I can just plug my iPhone in and copy this file over. So that's what I'm going to do. Just do whatever you have to do to get this file on your iPhone or your, um, if you're doing this on a laptop, just get it on your laptop. And then, um, we're going to, uh, take it from there and download the open VPN client and just install this and it, everything should work. All right, so I just plugged my phone into my computer and I'm thinking I can just drag this into here. Maybe not. Oh, this might be actually even easier than I thought. Maybe we just drag it over the OpenVPN app. Yeah, cool, so it's there right now. Um, so, now I'm going to go on my iPhone and open up the OpenVPN app and we should see this now and we should be able to log in with it. So I know I forgot, I didn't explain how to download this on your iPhone, but you just go to the app store and download OpenVPN and then it'll show up. Um, but yeah, let's go take a look on the phone and see what we see. Oh, actually, before we start there, we need to make that change in our router. Um, so let me go back. And we just need to update this and just bear with me here so you need to go to your like port forwarding settings on your router so mine on this router is in uh not vpns nat forwarding virtual sh servers and it's right here so we need to edit this because this is my old configuration um, so we don't want 140, we want 169 since that's my new, that's my Raspberry Pi. Um, so just save this. Save that and now we should be good to go. So in the next video, I will uh, take a look at my iPhone and uh, do a screen recording of it. And uh, we'll, we'll check to make sure this all works. All right, so I copied the file to the iPhone, and here I am just turning the Wi-Fi off just to make sure I'm not on my home network. And I'm going to open up OpenVPN, and you can see it says one new OpenVPN profile available for import. So I'm just connecting to it, and I say connect after import, and there you go. First try, it connected. <laughs> That's a first. Usually it takes me a couple tries. Uh, you can see it shows the public IP address there. 
Um, here I am just uh, just showing the log file so you can see like all the actions that were taken, all the, uh, you know, it connecting the various steps. Um, but yeah, that's it. I mean, hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Um, actually, I think I have another video here. Oh yeah, this is the continued. So I just wanted to search for what is my IP address. So, you know, I'm on cellular now. Normally, if you said what is my IP address, it wouldn't say your home network like this, but um, now it is. So that's uh, just demonstrating that, that it's all working. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Um, I use this a lot, actually. I end up uh, connecting to, to the uh, VPN pretty much whenever I'm on, on cell data. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching.